for years, Diana was my sole handler at the agency. She supplied information and secrecy, and I sold perfection. We had trust. Then last August 10th, Diana brought the agency to its knees. She flushed all accounts, cut off all communication lines, exposed the agents, and used the confusion to vanish. Now the reformed agency has finally tracked her down and offered me the contract. One day, I will think of this as just another job. After all, this is what I do. Listen to me. I need you to be brave. A man will come and take you away. I cannot go with you. This is how it has to be. This man is different. He will protect you. Please don't judge him for what he might do. I'm sorry. Maybe someday, you will understand. Forty-seven. This is Benjamin Travis. The money has been wired to your account. Welcome to Chicago. I appreciate you taking this assignment, 47. It is never easy targeting our own, but Diana Burnwood's treason must be dealt with. I would send in one of the teams, but this is a job for a scalpel, not a hammer. Reasons are irrelevant. Exactly. Good luck, 47. It's an ice cream truck. Yeah, I know. I'll get rid of him. Hey, get out of here. We don't want anything. What about your partner? What partner? During this assignment, key game elements will be highlighted. First of all, try to kill with discretion and try to remain undetected. Let's look at the interface. In the lower left corner, the blue bar indicates your health. Next to it is the radar. Use it to keep track of enemies, objectives, and exit points. In the lower right corner, you can see what weapon you have selected and if it's hidden. Next to the weapon, the yellow bar indicates how much instinct you have available. If it is depleted, you cannot rely on instinct abilities. A 
According to ICA Division Chief Benjamin Travis, my former handler Diana Burnwood has gone rogue, taking with her a valuable agency asset, a girl named Victoria. After months underground, Diana's safe house has been located, a heavily guarded mansion on the shores of Lake Michigan. My objective? Eliminate Diana and retrieve the girl. Personal note. Diana saved my life. Although the grounds for termination are just, I take no pride in this assignment. From here on out, I shall refer to her only as my target. I must not get personally involved. You are about to enter a restricted area. The guard up ahead will try to arrest you if he spots you, so keep low and try to slip past unnoticed. This is... <laughs> to get the full benefit of this introduction, try to remain unseen and kill with discretion. The body is now hidden. The container has room for one more body, and still has room for you to hide. Items found in the world can be used as close combat weapons, or you can use them to distract your enemies. Clean kill. Remember to hide the body. Bodies left in plain sight will alert your enemies. Use your fiber wire to silently eliminate the guard up ahead. Calling in personal. Clean kill. Notice the fiber wire allows you to drag your target immediately. Clean kill. Remember to hide the body. Bodies left in plain sight will alert your enemies. You have activated a checkpoint. If you die or if you choose to restart, you will start at this location. Agent 47's training and supreme senses allow him to keenly perceive his surroundings. Notice the guards deployed throughout the garden. Okay. We're not supposed to know about the, uh, head stuff. Hank is old school. He's not one to air his dirty laundry in public. Subdue or kill. The choice is yours. Either way, he won't be waking up anytime soon. Someone is about to notice you. The attention display shows you the direction of the threat. Try to slip away unnoticed. Distraction, steady aim, or fiber wire, the choice is yours.
Wait and listen to the people around you. They may give vital information or simply let you know when the coast is clear. Please. My wife's a state champion in gossip. It's only a matter of time. Not that I don't appreciate your concern. Mark my words, kid. You should get out of soldier. Use instinct or consult the radar to locate the exit. This travel agency only has two destinations. Death and depression. And either way, you can be damn sure it's gonna rain the whole time, no one speaks your language, and the hotel's a roach-infested hellhole. Um, are you gonna be all right, Hank? I'm just fine, kid. Use instinct to anticipate enemy movement. Looks like the chef's cooking up a storm. Mmm. I tell you, this gig is like watching paint dry. But at least the service is good. Edged and piercing weapons can be used for deadly throws as well as distractions. Focus on a target. <laughs> Clean kill. You can dump the body over the railing. The greenhouse up ahead will require a disguise to infiltrate unnoticed. Look for a disguise. This burnwood is tightening security throughout the compound. As of now, you are disguised as a gardener. In this disguise, you are allowed to be in the greenhouse area. Be mindful that other gardeners see through your disguise if you come too close, so keep a safe distance. Getting into the greenhouse will bring you close to the gardener. He will get suspicious, but you can use your instinct to trick him. Trick the gardener. I know that guy. Hey, hey, how's it going? Ever hear a personal space? The guards up ahead will not be suspicious, but you should keep a lookout for other gardeners. As far as I know, the girl hasn't left the house since we got here. No school, no friends coming over. Bit odd, don't you think? I don't know. Maybe. Kid sweet. Don't get me wrong. But something's definitely wrong. seems Sorry, pal, new rules. This area is off limits unless your security. Perfect. Just perfect. I'm gonna kill these maintenance clowns. The guards have been dealt with. Doing so, you regain some instinct. Come on. Let's check out the boats. Right, the guards are preoccupied. Like you can kill them or sneak past. The choice is yours. Over my head, you know? <laughs> I've been sleeping on couches. Through the compound. Accessing mansion and approaching target. Good. Infiltrate the mansion and terminate Diana Burnwood. And Victoria, bring her in. Unharmed. She is very dear to me and the agency. What? You're kidding. Wait, are, are you sure? It's not prostate cancer. Oh, oh, oh. You are now inside the mansion. Your current disguise will be suspicious to the mansion guards. Either find a new disguise or try to remain undetected. The mansion guard disguise gives you full access to the mansion interior. Be mindful that other mansion guards see through your disguise if you come too close, so keep a safe distance.
Throughout the game, you will find evidence. Removing the evidence will award you rating points and instinct. Beyond this door, the rating system will be turned on. It will monitor your playstyle and reward your progress. You can see it in the top left corner. As always, how you handle your assignment is entirely up to you. Good luck. Sounds like a team briefing in the living room. Come Better on. haul ass. The head hates having to repeat himself. Use instinct to locate objects of interest. Listen up. Miss Burnwood is in the upstairs shower. We'll be down shortly. The girl's in her room, and will remain for time being. For those of you who do not know the drill, I will personally appoint a close protection host for each client on a six-hour shift cycle. You will not, I repeat, not leave your VIP side for any reason during your shift. Any breach of procedure will result in immediate termination and subsequent blacklisting. Rest assured, if you fail in your duties, you will never work in this business again. This is all. Dismissed. So, so you were on close protection duty yesterday, right? Did you talk to the girl? Barely. She's polite, but kind of introverted. Just sits there, staring into space. Kid must have some kind your of... Your current pack. weapon is unsilenced, and might alert your enemies. Consider using your silenced silver baller pistols. This is Alpha. Hey! Who opened those blinds? We're sitting ducks in here! Hey, nice view. You notice that. If your score is high enough, you will unlock an assassin technique. Open the notebook to see your next unlock. Closing in on target. Well done, 47. Now remember, Diana brought this on herself. She betrayed us, the agency, the code, everything we stand for. She is too dangerous to be left alive. Think about that when you pull the trigger.
47? Report 47. I should kill you. Why did you do this? 47! Kevin, what's wrong with this thing? We all have our limits. Even you. 47. We used to have honor. Diana, I... No. I had to take her away from the doctors. I knew you would understand. Fuck. Something's not right. You won't last long. There's no time. You still have a chance. In my robe. A letter. Now go. Take the girl and run. Before Travis finds out. Please, do not let her turn into you. Promise me. I promise. Running is noisy and makes it easier for your enemies to spot you. Agent 47 can deal with enemies swiftly and with great precision. Note that while you are focusing on your targets, you expend instinct rapidly. Turn the camera to focus on your enemies, then lock the shot. Fatal damage. Focus on the next enemy. All enemies are dealt with. Now You know who I am. I know. She's dead, isn't she? Come on, stay close to me. Where are we going? Get in. It's done. Excellent work, 47. Bring the girl to the extraction point. the agency want you? I don't know. I guess I might have... <gasps> Diana did this for you. Why? Please. She was my only friend. She took me away from the doctors. <laughs> Tell me about the doctors. It's really blurry. Like, a really bad dream. Why? We need to go. Sir, there's nobody here. I think the asset has gone AWOL. God damn it! I was afraid it couldn't do it. I want every agent on this. You hear me, Jade? Okay, 47 before he slips between the cracks. You need to get off the streets. The agency knows my secure locations, and they will be searching for us. This is the safest place I know. Can I come with you? You need to hide. 
till I know what's going on. Oh, it was you who called. Yes. Oh, you must be Victoria. Come on in, child. Thank you for your help. This girl is important. Take this. We will take good care of her, my son. Diana said you need that necklace. Don't lose it. Will you come back? I'll be watching. There are countless ways to assassinate the King of Chinatown. Twelve of these assassinations will unlock challenges. To view the challenges, consult the notebook. A completed challenge will grant a permanent score bonus. The more challenges you complete, the higher your potential score. Happy hunting. Birdie. Once the Agency's top intelligence man. In order to protect the girl, I need him as my eyes and ears. But his services won't come cheap. This man is a merchant. Quid pro quo. Everything comes with a price. To recruit him, I must first take out his business rival. Official contract or not, this king of Chinatown has to die. No man. Yeah. You know who it is. Get your ass down. Hello?
Who's this though? My cousin Eddie. Lovejoy, fresh Lovejoy, grateful stuff line. They arrested him. We got sushi, sushi here, everybody. Green tea, miso soup. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fresh get Fresh fruit and vegetables. Thanks, Bobby. Bye bye. Just witness a murder. Can't see the perfect. Over. So bring your meat ass to my home. I need information. Well, that's my business. Information. You need information, I find information. At a price, of course. You're damn right at a price. Of course. Girl named Victoria. The agency wants her bad. I need to know why. No, wait, 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 wait. The agency. You want me to snoop around the agency? Were you crazy? Yeah, you crazy. Alright, what is it worth to you? Name your price. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> tools. Listen to the city. <laughs> if anyone mentions a girl, you know what to do. I'll call you. You do that. Yes. Terminus Hotel, room 899. So I asked my bird the question, Holmes, and the answer came back in the shape of a name. Blake Dexter. An arms industry VIP who seems to have taken a special interest in your girl. Dexter occupies the Terminus's top floor, and his thug has had the place sealed off tight. Still, a man of your skills and resources should be able to find several access points. Good luck, Holmes.
Nice, buddy. You got to stand and watch outside in this weather? That is harsh. Tell me about it. Why don't you just come inside for a minute? What are they gonna do, right? Clearly, you've never met my employer. Yeah, goddamn scandalous, you. No respect for property. If you were my husband, I'd poison the bee. Oh, yeah. How about a little arsenic in with the yay? I'd cut your dick off and throw it to the alligators in the zoo. He's gonna have a short life. Catch me messing around with electricity in a flooded pit? Not for a million bucks, no sir! Shit! Man, that's Joe for you. Hey, he's like a living legend downtown. Hey, would you believe he was struck by lightning once? Damn straight. Bastard walked away without a scratch, too. Some of the guys say he can even turn on a light bulb just by snapping his fingers. <laughs> wow. Birdie's intel is never wrong. A Midwestern arms manufacturer named Blake Dexter is in Chicago searching for Victoria. The agency would never share their secrets with outsiders. Someone else must have leaked the information. But who? I can't trust anyone. All I know is that the girl is innocent. She doesn't deserve this. I will infiltrate Blake Dexter's suite at the Terminus Hotel and learn the truth for myself. Then I shall decide on his fate.
Nice work, 47. You sure are a resourceful son of a bitch. Ooh, you're approaching the lion's den now. Thugs you encountered are gonna have the eighth floor completely under lockdown. Now Blake Dexter, he enjoys his privacy. And sneaking into 899 is not gonna be an easy task. And to make matters worse, this is protected by a seriously nasty bodyguard who will not, and I repeat, not take kindly to trespassers. She should probably look to get off at a lower floor and look for a more subtle entry point. But what am I saying? A pro like you, you probably got the whole thing figured out, don't you? All right, go get him. Are the stairwells secure? Uh-huh. Seal up tight. Nobody disturbs Mr. Dexter without our permission. Good. And no incidents, you hear me? I want this operation to go as smooth as possible. No drinking, no fighting, and no banging the maze. That means you. All right, all right. Jesus. Just keep your dick in your pants, all right? You want me to come back later? Listen, I'm just saying, man, I've seen the guy in action. Last guy he fought wound up in a wheelchair. Once Sanchez, that big Mexican smells blood, he is unstoppable. <laughs> Whatever, man. My, my money is... I'm tired of walking on eggshells. You don't have to. I put so much into this, you know? And you're all like, whatever! Just need time. I've given you time. You think something better might come along? Come on, that's unfair. Then what? I don't fucking know. I had to pull doubles for two weeks to pay for this trip. You haven't helped with the rent or groceries in hey, three how months. You, doing? you never even offer to cook a meal. You won't do laundry, you don't clean, you never want to talk. God. You haven't touched me in weeks. I am trying to get clear with God, all right? I am trying. To get clear with well, that's God. Just perfect.
tell me about it. Walked by a guy in skinny jeans hey, and get a over shoulder it. bag earlier. Nobody even flinched. It's a mad... It's... It's a madhouse, man. No, Pure and simple. No, it's a I stupid nut house. Will you two shut up? Mr. Dexter doesn't pay you to complain. <laughs> yes, sir. Right away, sir. Pfft. Jesus. Yeah, you know, I would. I would if I could, but, uh, My go God, what an idiot. Why he's the boss's favorite is beyond me. That guy couldn't find his asshole with both hands. Her name is Victoria, and she's worth a lot of fucking money. Ah, she's some kind of enhanced wonder child or something. Point is, we go in, we grab her, we hang on to her until they give us the ransom. She sounds like something you came up with in one of your labs. Oh, who the fuck asked for your opinion, anyway? You're a fucking asshole, you know that? You know, your job is to shut up, do what I say, and look good. <laughs> and you do look good, honey. <laughs> Sweet talker. Fucking knock. Good work, Sanchez. Yeah. What is he? Is he a cop? Is he a PI or something? Well, fuck me gently. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? That ain't no fucking private eye. That's a fucking ghost. That, that's a myth. That, that's a fucking hitman. Hitman? Oh shit. This fucking changes everything. This is this changes everything. <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do with him? Knock, knock, knock. Housekeeping. Hey, hello. What are you doing? Shh. Buenos dias, Peter. Hello. Yeah, we got us a little mess in here. Why don't you come on in oh, and clean it up? For you. Yeah, that'd be good. Clean now? Sure, come on in, darling. Atta girl. Oh my god, these Dexter don't! Oh god! You fucking animal! <laughs> now that's what I call a sweet slash. You know, nothing would give me more pleasure than to kill you right here and now. Me kill the legendary hitman? Yeah, but uh. I don't need that kind of attention. So, uh... Oh dear. Oh dear. You've done a bad, bad thing. <laughs> well, now they won't be looking for a killer, will they? Huh? Killer. <laughs> yes! 
yee I'll tell you, I don't ordinarily yee but this is a fucking yee Fucking Christmas! Here, take a slash. Nah. One second thought. Tinkle, tinkle, little jar. Wait, could you please not do that? This is a bad plan. Come on, darling. You better put a giddy up in your step. <laughs> Adios. Everything clear.
secure. No sign of perpetrator. Everything clear. You heard? Every district from Medicine Park to Hyde Park is coming in. Yeah, I know. Just for one guy. This guy. Think you'd survive that drop? Don't worry about it. Just keep a lookout. I am. I'm just saying. Just get away from the ledge, okay? You could slip and die. Hey, no one's gonna die. Guys. Just, just keep your eyes open. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh this perpetrator? <laughs> perpetrator? Who the hell still uses that word? Oh, you're a reader, aren't you? Don't worry. We'll catch that son of a bitch. Oh, come on, fucker, work! Come on! Hey, Fasano, cut it out! But it, it's my flashlight! I don't give a fuck, Fasano. I can't talk to two pussies at once. Rookie. He's able to pull this off? Oh, yeah. He'll be pissing out of his ears when we're done with him. Yeah? He better. And that's if he makes it out alive. All right. Now we're coming. Okay, boys. Let's get to work.
Negative. No sign of suspect. Oh, no, this is ridiculous. Look, this place is clearly empty. I don't think this guy is. Nobody's asking. Negative. Negative. Military. Yeah, you know my uh my cousin Anthony. He uh he's combat soldiers with the uh, what is that? Uh, oh that PTSD, you know, and some of these guys, when they snap, they fucking snap, you know? private property, but on account of you're the man, and all you gotta have is a warrant if you're here on business, okay? Hey, listen, Cheats, this ain't a bust. The guy we're looking for is extremely dangerous. We're all dangerous, man. We're all naked under our clothes, and our animal hearts beat with the same blood. And if we don't nail this guy, all that animal blood of yours and your friends is gonna be spilled all over the place. Now let me in! Show me the warrant.
in and out of the station. I know, yeah, Some kind I of know. murder exactly. investigation. Already Dude, closed off I, all the I tracks. Put this together. Yeah, Trust me, I'm I pretty know sure they can do that. They're the police. No. What do you want from me? No. Hey, you know, it's my ass on the line down here. You call City Hall if you want to yell at somebody. I got Not 400 angry commuters to string along. I would wait. I would talk Asshole. To I would find the ferry captain and, and, and slip him a bill and tell him, hey, man, we got to hold on. Oh, come on. Guys, please, please. No, fine, fine. You're gonna do what you're gonna do. That's cool. That's cool. Hello? Hey. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm still no. at the train station. Well, I don't know. Two trains it's just it's just it's something like I don't know. Yes, yes, I have
Hey, honey, yeah. I, I, I tried to call before, but I'm stuck. At the train station. I had no idea. It, it just... It... Oh. Uh, um... Well, you, you might need to call somebody, because I don't know that I'm going to get out of here. No, I have no idea. It, it's some, some bald guy? I, I have no idea. It's something pretty heavy duty. Because they're not telling us anything. They're not letting us go anywhere. Um, no, if, if you need it, you got to find something. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hi, babe. Well, if you need... Yeah. No, I, I don't know. Call Sally or something. I, I wish I could help. I, I can't. There's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry. No, nothing's up. Yeah. What's up is I'm okay. sitting alone sorry, in the train station. Bye. Can you play them to her? Dispatch! Yeah, I got an inbound train down on platform. Keep somebody on the news after Victoria. I need to stop him before he gets too close. Man, he already too close. You want my advice? You take that girl and you run. I never did believe in running. According to my sources, the girl is in Chicago. Me and the boys are leaving ASAP. I need you along to spearhead the operation. Are you in? Wait. I heard you. You want me to snatch some chick? Name's Victoria. Dom is gonna call you, tell you how to find her. She's in hiding somewhere. You got that? That's a lot of hassle for one chick. She must be special. I need to bring my boys. That means double my fee. Mm. Take Lenny with you. He can bring her back when you find her. Lenny, limp dick? Tip on my fee. <laughs> Sorry, the kid's a dipshit. 25. 39. 26. 37. 30. 35. Deal. <laughs> Lenny, come give the man a line. <sighs> come on, limp dick. Limp Dick Lenny. <laughs> Shut up, Wade! <laughs> I like good old Wade, I really do. Son of a bitch makes my skin crawl. Oh, that's probably why I like him. <laughs> now, Blake Dexter's a ruthless son of a bitch for sure, but the guy you really need to worry about is his business partner, Dom Osman, owner of the Vixen Club over on Bristol Street. This prick is bad new homes, even by my standards. I mean, he's clever and really connected. And it's only a matter of time before he tracks down your girl at the orphanage. How do you know about that? Hey, Chicago knows, I know. <laughs> Dom ain't all that different. Send me his picture. Goddamn garbage lying around and everything.
So everybody's stupid, huh? Hawaii means nothing to you, too, huh? Hey, just a lot of surfing, buddy. <laughs> Look, I'm not your fucking special? buddy. Special? You want to see some titties? You gotta pay. Oh, come on, man. Hank knows me. Now Hank remember, when you get inside the Vixen Club, look toward the bar. Because Dom, he likes to be with the action man. Time to regain focus. According to Birdie, strip club owner Dom Osmond is Blake Dexter's informant. He put the arms dealer on Victoria's trail. I will remove him from the equation before he causes any more damage. Personal note, Birdie did not give me this information out of the goodness of his heart. He has much to gain by Osmond's death. This is a fragile alliance. I have to tread carefully.
I just saw Dom. He said if I didn't entertain his friends, I'd be going to Hawaii. Hey, hey. Look, you just gotta entertain his friends. Don't let them think they own you. You were right. Dom was searching for Victoria. I got to him just in time. Good for you, Holmes. Kudos. He was on to you as well. A man is coming. A man named Wade. That guy's crazier than a shithouse rat. You need to get your ass over here right away, because this is about to get very loud and very messy. I have to call you back. Listen, I, uh, I don't know if you know, but it's one of the number one occupations for young female students. So they can...
way, from the TV, or, uh, I've seen him before, I... Birdie, I'm on my way back to Chinatown. Stay low, and watch your back. Oh yeah? Well that's easy for you to say, Holmes. Man, that Wade, they say he got ways to make you talk. And you and I both know that I got a lot of shit to say, so hurry! Just stay calm. I could say the same about you. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you, you been have waiting to do that one? Huh? All that firework that came to me last night. I even got him to write it down so I wouldn't forget. That was uh, ambitious, I think. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. You got a lot of firepower back there. Listen, if you see a man fitting that description, let one of us hey, know. Hey, I see a tall, bald yeah, guy. Of course. Looks like of course a bum in the neighborhood the past couple hours. No, sorry, officer. Yeah, he's a uh, white guy, around 40. He also beat up the suit. He might have been uh, bleeding or limping or uh, probably doing some hard breathing. No, I haven't seen anyone that looks like that. Sorry. After my debut album goes number one, but right before I start recording that difficult second album. You know, so everyone will spend decades guessing whether I was a... I just came MC down here officer. to buy some session pepper. It's just pepper. Please, just let me leave. This is yours. Oh shit, they're here! 
three weights, guys, in the crowd asking questions. It's only a matter of time before they see me. You gotta get me out of here, Holmes. You got to. You got to. For your own damn good. Bertie, focus. Don't do anything foolish. I will take care of this. Sight of Birdman yet. What? Look, look, what do you want from me? It's freaking New Year down here. Yeah, yeah, I'll get back to you. I got it. Hey, Collins, you around? Yeah. Over by the dance studio. Down the stairs. No nothing. You ask me, he's got ex-spook written all over him. Either way, this won't come cheap, you understand? Psh, my boss don't care about that. Hey, uh, you got some nice shit around here. I could use some heavy firepower. I got this, uh, thing coming up. Yeah, like I give a shit. <laughs> hey, you got the new HX UMPs, huh? Uh, I've been wanting to try one of those. Nice. Uh, an armor tip bullets. Those could come in handy. Hell, I'll just take one of everything.
Extra rice. Locals aren't talking. Five, five. Yeah, they gotta be covering for them. You do realize the streets are packed, don't you? Really? On you? How many lap dances? And throwing a uh, champagne room? Wow, a lot of ass. And just for finding this birdie guy, huh? All right. You got yourself a deal. Crack a bottle and get ready to light my fire. Okay, we're good, we're good. 
He left with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. Too late, 47. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Wade, what would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking. Without the children, I wish I could have gone on that field trip with them. Oh, it's you. I'm glad you're here. Victoria's sick. One minute she's fine, and the, the next she's hardly breathing, and the doctors can't find anything wrong with her. A necklace. A necklace? Well, well, it's on the dresser. She broke the latch, but I fixed it. <gasps> Has anyone been asking about her? No. They're here. I've got to move Victoria fast. Where's the safest place in the building? Oh, uh, oh the basement. The basement. Get down there quickly. I'll meet you there with Victoria. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, heaven be praised. Oh. Come. <laughs> Thank you. You came back. Just like you said. I was so, so scared. Are those gunshots? Don't worry. I promised Diana to keep you safe. I know what you've been through. No one will harm you ever again. What's that noise? It's not that they're nuns. I mean, it's just... I mean, God, whatever happened to duct tape? That's Wade for you. The guy likes his carnage. Sick, sick shit. Get some off. That's probably why he's never been caught. Power back on. 
Sister Mary is waiting in the basement. I will meet you both there. It's gotten way out of hand, man. What the hell are we doing? Finishing off what we started. Let's go. We gotta find the girl. Uh, they're hurting good. Well, if we don't find her, Wade will rip us all a new asshole. Go and find out what they get. Yeah, yeah, we're tearing up the place. No sign yet. Don't worry, all right? We'll Go see what that was. Uh, I couldn't tell you, but I'm gonna find out. That's that's for sure. Hey, chalk it up as uh, unexplained creepy stuff. They got anything yet? Fuck if I know. Doesn't sound like it. Yep, yeah, they've been at it for a long time. Guys, no pussy. Hate it when kids play with their food. the phone with Wade, and he is pissed! Oh, man. That guy... Why do I feel like I... Oh, is that the guy that plays pool at Great Balls of Fire? Shit. Find that girl. We're fucked. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said we're fucked. Oh, bitch ass motherfucker. Hey then. You should have seen him, man. Pissing himself. A grown man. Do you believe it? Yeah. You ask me? He just nervous. Damn, great idea. Sister Mary? Who? Fight back, girl! Fight back! I, I wait! I won't 
with the HR too. Papa's little boy. You've been waving that little thing around all day, haven't you? <laughs> Shut up, White! <Blaine>! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! You think you're a tough guy, Lenny? Hmm? Tough guy? Stop it! Come on, man, you tough guy? Come on. Come on, you tough guy? Come on, man! No! Come on! Okay, I'll show you! Uh, Shut up, bitch! Oh! Or I'll put a cap in your ass! Look out, everybody! We better make room for Lip Dick Lenny! Come on! You know what, Way? Just... Oh! 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 This is like pop like a watermelon. <laughs> Lenny! <laughs> I tell you what, Lenny. We better let the grown-ups clean up this. Mm-mm. You boys keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job. Okay, so we got the girl. What now? Let's go. You stay put until Wade says otherwise. No getting high. No, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like this. The cops could be waiting outside. You fucking thought of that? We should get the hell out of here now. They won't be. We would know about it a long time ago, so relax, okay? Hearing all these rumors, man. Whatever, they can't really. Anyway, he's got Wade all fired up. We're risking the chain because that lunatic wants to stand on. Keep it down, Jesus! What if that crazy shit hurt you? Just shut up. Do what you're paid to do. I know that guy. I can't remember his name. What's up, man? Now, you cocksucker! Make fun of me, I'll teach you a thing or two. I hope you die! Real hard and real long, you fucking motherfucker! And you, Balvey, don't you fucking move, or I'll put a, a fucking bullet in her head! That's what I'm saying! Wait, this is what happens when you fuck with Lenny! Don't you fuck with Lenny anymore! South Dakota, you're a long way from home. I got wood, man. Why do I have wood?
see me. Yes, yes, you're so beautiful. So, the infamous oh. birdie. You better have a good reason for dragging me out here. Hey, I'm here to offer my services. You see, this kidnapping of yours, I'm worried that you have no idea who you're up against. I'm Bertie. I didn't know you cared. Let me take a closer look. Is this the face of a man I can trust? Dom is dead. Courtesy of the bald guy. And that means you need a new man on the inside. And who's better out there than me? Am I right? No, Bertie, you're not right. Because, see, I got the girl. And that means I don't really need you now, do I? Wait, 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 wait. Now, be cool, man. Come on, please. Listen. Look, you don't understand. You want the highest bidder? Then you need me to engineer the drop. That's what I do, man. <laughs> oh, Bertie, you think I can't make a simple trace on your phone call? What? I feel sick! Oh, that! Oh! Uh, it's a beautiful day. Bertie, who is, uh, what the hell is her name again now? Uh, Jade. Who's Jade? Fuck you, man. Oh, that, oh. oh now that's the wrong answer. Oh. Damn, I love this country. A man can become anything he wants to be, as long as he's got the brains and the cojones. Okay, 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 she's a low-level agency, bitch. The agency? Are you telling me the agency's connected to Victoria? Yeah. Let him go. <laughs> These are very dangerous people, man. If you screw them over, they will find you. But if you let me be the middleman, can't you see if it meant enough to them? To send a fucking hit, man. Don't you see she's got to be worth millions? Millions. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Oh, you're good this time, Bertie. You've been very useful. But if I see your weasel face again, I will bury you right here next to the Founding Fathers. I can promise you that. You know I will. I'm cool. I'm cool. Think you're gonna cut me out of the action? Well, you got another thing coming, man. I got a sorpresa for you. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I got a surprise for everybody.
Hey, catch the crooks lately. Let it go already? All right, all right, just tell me, okay? Is one of you guys kissing my beer? Or what? Seriously. Eh, hey, come on, just play, don't be... Barbershop! Every day, 12 noon, sharp! Hey, Holmes, how's country life? Local stream you okay? Why don't you pop on over to McGarman's gun shop, because I got you a little moving in present. Sir, I think you need to see this. Sir, you really need to see this. What? It's a gift. From an old connection. It's been off the grid for a couple of years now. Codename Birdie. <laughs> we codenamed a guy Birdie. No wonder he went off the grid. Give the bird man what he wants. You find 47 at any cost. They're mine. Not unless you got a receipt. I could just take them. You don't look much like a thief. It wouldn't be stealing. I'm a girl. Any ugly ain't got shit on my sweet lily. Let's see what you got. Um, please. How you doing? Fine. I'll do it. Hey, how's it hanging, huh?
Hey, I'm stuck staring at me, you twisted little fairy! Got them little fairies. Kids. Birdie was right. He's in Hope, South Dakota. And the girl? She's not with him. Okay, people, listen up. I'm giving a green light on this operation. I want 47's head on a platter in front of me ASAP. Sir, don't you think that our priority is on reacquiring the girl right now? No, Jay. First, we neutralize the rogue element that started this mess. He don't know where she is. Trust me. We get 47. We get the girl. We can't afford to fuck this up! It's time to send in the saint. Tyler tell you about a plan of his? We grab the girl from under Dexter's nose, sell her off ourselves. I mean, Tyler, he's already in touch with the competing arms company. We're talking six figures, man. Damn it. Mr. Dexter is not someone that you want to mess with. About Darian? What about Darian? Yeah, Darian. Darian messed up. All right, you ask me, he deserves what he got. Look, you want to be stuck here? Something seems a little funny. I don't know. I can't put my finger on Build schools and hospitals and support cultural initiatives. Whoa! Who turned that on?
Send in your job application now. Dexter Industries, building a more high power tomorrow. You probably know that 9 out of 10 gun-related incidents occur in the home. But did you also know that 6 out of those 9 times the gun That's right. Whoa! Oh god, I'm scared. Hello? Anyone there? Goddamn radio! Thanks for fighting the good fight, officer. You do a great job. In Burmese brothel, a Thai massage parlor. I really don't care. I'm not a picky man. And we have Haley from City Council with us to tell a little bit about what's in store. I wonder why the radio's on. Well, Brady, this year everyone's talking about the chili cookout. We have a free sign up and the lucky guy or gal who makes the most of us. Okay. Okay. Shut up. Sorry, sir. The store is closed. Perhaps for good. You're gonna have to take your shopping elsewhere.
Hey, listen up. Stop messing around. Just keep staying alert. All right, I'm gonna solve this thing. Yeah, well, I'm looking around and scanning the area, but it's quiet. You know, but in a eerie quiet kind of way. Hey. You just stay right here. I'm gonna see what that was. Big city, right? Oh, God. Uh, do I know you from somewhere? From Bubba's place? out there. Big city, right? Hey, hey, hands off the pizza. We made it especially for Lenny. You know, Chicago style. Oh, and good day to you, officer, sir. Top of the morning. Yeah. 
so oh, it's pathetic. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay, you know what? That's Go close enough. Yourself. Stop right there. You better back up. Me. Glad it wasn't. Big hit, huh? What the? Oh, shit. See, Cal, Cal, I <laughs> you know, the talkative type, huh? <laughs> You know your place. <laughs> well, uh, I like that in the barber. Man, oh man. What have we got, Doc? How's our golden egg? That is exactly what she is, sir. She is extraordinary. We ran some tests on her. Her cells are enhanced somehow by an isotope in her, in her necklace. It's as if it rejuvenates her. Given the right training, she'd be stronger or faster than any man. But when it's removed, she winkles somehow. <laughs> she is beyond perfect. 
I knew there was some reason the agency wanted her so bad. Jackpot! Ha <laughs> ha! Lenny. Lenny's been kidnapped. What? Who the fuck would dare fuck with me? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! You call Jade, tell her to set up the ransom right now. And call the sheriff, tell him I want my boy back. What the fuck I pay him for, goddamn fucking... Sheriff's office. How can I help you? It's for you. Skirky here, what? Layla, hi. What? No! I. God damn it! All right, I'm coming. Hang it up! Where's the girl? <laughs> Bob will kill me if I take you! I'll kill you if you don't. Oh, please! We was gonna give her right back. We was just trying to make some money, man. Last time. Where's Victoria? <laughs> don't stop. with Sanchez! <laughs> Where do I find him? At the factory, just out the town. Ask anybody, they'll tell you. He runs the fights there at night, all right? All right, you can stop digging. <laughs> can, can I get out of this hole now? Start walking. Oh, please. Please, that nun, she was an accident, man, okay? Please, I, I'm not gonna kill any more nuns, I swear. I just, just drive away. Okay, there's no need, there's no need to do anything. Don't put a bullet in me.
Okay, are we all here? Just about. The reserves are getting into position, but we're clamped down good already. Well, something's got the suits. Yeah, that's why we can't be too careful. They got the old security cam control room up and running. You kidding? Oh, fuck, that has gotta be serious. It is, so we gotta get back to work. Yeah, I'll see you later. Alpha 5, check it out, all clear. Over. Run, but you can't hide. Come on, you talk the talk, now walk the walk. Dude, where are you at? Seriously. Quick not even legal, man. How'd you do that? I uh, try to restart it. Yeah, is the little green light on the modem, is it blinking? Yeah, the one that says DSL. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of in the middle of something here, but give me a few minutes and uh, I'll get there as soon as I can. Can't be too sure. The orders say we gotta stay alert. We're late for the briefing. Shit! We can't still make it, can we? Sure as hell better try. Checking in. No sign of anything. Over. Business comes first, and when we're at DEF CON 1, business is all there is. We got Delta Crew in to show Carl a good time. 
and they're promising pictures of the cake. No cake for us tonight, boys. But Alpha Team don't need no stinking cake. You got your assignments. Now go. Howdy, fella. Link should be up again. Just talk to Tech. Apparently some old fuse box short-circuited half the units. It's a mess. Dude. Yeah, what is it? We gotta talk. Okay, let's walk. Gotta come across with the Benjamins. Hey, I'll have it after the fight. I got two. You get your money. I'm out of the hole. Everyone lives happily ever after.
Hey there, Monty. Road been good to you? Oh, yeah. All good. Got myself a new baby girl last night. Congrats. Thanks, man. Yeah. Didn't figure on being a dad this late night. You're not so old. Oh, heads up with the check. Fat one. <laughs> because you didn't get the odometer notarized. I've been trucking for 20 years and ain't nobody ever asked me for any notarized anything. Ain't no one ever taught you no English neither, cowboy, but I can't help you there either. No stamp, no mileage pay. You can read the odometer yourself, you goddamn cow. That's harassment. We'll have to report you for that. You... you... Ah! I'm going for a smoke, doll. Enjoy. You're fucking kidding me. These mines are live? Yeah, they're live. What the hell is it? Yeah, I know that face. Working this post for years and nothing's ever happened. Mr. Dexter just wants to prove a point of how safe these little bastards are. Oh, this is just wrong. Better be a goddamn emergency. You know this is my. I'd be honored, Mr. T. God bless you. Mm. Let's get it together, bitches. That was the man. It's not every day I get to kill the legend.
You are now entering the Dexter Industries Research Facility, where the top minds of science and technology strive to make the impossible possible. Dexter Industries. Where the magic happens. is way out of line. He's abusive, and he meddles in my research. No, I did not give up my tenure at Caltech to take on this kind of crap. So you either you pull some strings, transfer me down to R&D, or I'm, I'm out of here.
Hey there. What are you doing? Get out of my face. Okay, so say Dr. Green had an accident. Say he I know, fell off one of the platforms. Could anyone ever really prove if he's this guy? Say Dr. Green had an accident. Say he I don't know, fell off one of the platforms. Could anyone ever really prove if he slipped off or if, if he was pushed? If foul play was indeed involved, then uh, who's the culprit? Everyone here hates his guts. Everyone's got a motive. You lab geeks, us guards, the receptionist. His wife can't stand him. The goddamn mailman wants him dead. Oh, so, yeah. of course, of course. Hypothetic did it. Steven got his security clearance upgraded. Yeah, he's allowed into the silo now. Huh. Really? You, uh, ask him what's going on down there? Or? I, I did ask, but they made him sign a phone book's worth of legal papers, and he's not telling me anything. Unbelievable. You know what? I'm gonna sneak in there. <laughs> he's just behind the door. I don't care if it's childish. I mean, I want to see. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, okay? You know what's happening down in the cellar? No idea. 
heard it was something big. We turn everything right around. Look! What did you say? Uh, I Hello! Do I know you? Haven't I seen that guy before? Oh, that was vicious! Oh man, this has been the shittiest fucking month, but tonight is gonna be the best day of my life. Sanchez will fucking rock the house, I'm sure of it. I just fucking know it. Can you feel it? Yeah! Oh yeah, I know what you mean. It's gonna be killer. Oh yeah, baby. Bridge no is guns. up. You can move the car, as my father said. Now let's Got it. see. Already on top of it. No need to worry. That's right. All right. All right. Bye. What? Something's happening. I, 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 I can feel it. Oh, 
Why was I not that Sanchez can't just swing at him. He just barged in and took off with the girl. Said the lab might be compromised. Something about Mr. Dexter's son getting kidnapped? I don't know. Did you? This is just an excuse to hawk her like a piece of merchandise. Easy money. That's all. Hang in there, buddy. He'll be in the middle of no time. Yeah, those crazy muscles of his? Let's just say he didn't get them by you. Adjusted the serum dosage. These test subjects are no good to me dead. Oh, don't give me that blank look. I just manned the computer station. Here, let me show you how it's done.
What? Oh, no. Come on. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, what's happening? Anyone out there? Punches in bunches. Don't talk, keep your mouth shut, and focus. All right, backtrack. I'll, I'll stand in right about here. Pick up my phone, stay pocket the key card. It's got to be here. Hey, 
Not funny, man. Not funny at all. Howdy, fella. Nah, buddy, forget it. That was just nothing. Nice. Come on! Are you bastard? Ah, why do I keep doing this? Hey, what the shit? Jesus! Don't you lose them. Nice out. Oh man, that guy in the face let the pace get cold. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh my shit, man. Sam Chance wanna eat him like this. Look at this one right there. Victoria, where is she? I tell you. Look over there. I can make it hurt a lot worse. Okay, the sheriff has a has a courthouse, but you don't want to throw with him, though. He don't fight clean like me. I choose my own trouble. You know I can't let you live. <laughs>
Welcome to the Waikiki Inn. <laughs> Would you care to register, sir? Ben Franklin. Oh, right this way, sir. We have a continental breakfast from seven to nine in the Tiki Lounge. A happy hour is from five to eight in the Tiki Lounge. My ties are two for one pina coladas or- Anything less festive. Can I bring a bottle to your room, Mr. Franklin? Something brown. Yes, sir. Parcel in the parking lot. Mark for pickup. Over. Strike team, retrieve 47's body. Clean up crew, take care of any survivors. Move out! Bring me 47's remains. If the body is too scorched to identify, let's look for the barcode.
Okay, listen up. We follow the public operations protocol, section three. No survivors, no bodies, no trace. Total spring cleaning. Not exactly deep blue hero stuff. Man, no sign of survivors. Over. <laughs> Please. I didn't see anything. I haven't seen your face. Don't do this! Don't hurt me! Command, I'm wrapping up a parcel in Sector 2. Requesting pickup. Over. Where did management pick up these women, anyway? They make my blood run cold. I hear they're one of Travis's initiatives. Finds them all over the world, apparently. Civil war orphans, domestic abuse victims, convicted prisoners. You name it. He gives them a home, trains them, focuses their rage. Jesus, that Travis. There's nothing if not invented.
What do you mean, no reply? Raise them again. Where are, where are you? Hello? Look, if 47 is still alive in there, we've just lost the element of surprise. I've seen the man's candy work. Can we rig this place up, block all the exits, and bury the son of a bitch in rubble? It's the only way to make sure. Try telling that to the Saints. I guarantee you'll be the first one through the door. Is this all of them? That should be it. All right. You, load the bodies onto the bus. You, start wiping down the place. Remove all visible blood stains and sweep for bullet casings. The fire should take care of the rest. This was a highly unfortunate gas explosion, people. Nothing more. No casualties, no questions. All right? Let's get to work. Man, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Looks okay. Command, we're good. Standing down. Sir, 
This operation concerns national security. The government will, of course, compensate you for the damages. But for the moment, I need you to cooperate. Step over here, if you please, sir. Much obliged. I know I'm gonna get shot! I had a dream like this! I don't wanna be shot! <laughs> Vigilant. I'm not exactly keen on walking straight into an ambush any more than you are. Roger. Commandos don't die, they regroup in hell. Let's go. At ease, fellas. Cornfield. Yes, ma'am. Listen up. We have orders to sweep the cornfield. Standard two by two grid formation. Move out. Over. Give it up, 47. We know you're out there.
have the field surrounded. Let us bring you in, and Travis will cut you a deal. Give yourself up and we'll take you in alive.
I trusted you. You were given a mission, and you betrayed the agency. You humiliated me! Oh yeah. So you saw him get up and walk away after that fall? Oh yeah, like a walking, talking angel, man. And you describe him. Get out of here! You're wasting my time! Twenty people saw him, man. Not a single one can describe him apart from being bald with a tattoo on the back of his neck. You really think it's the hitman? I don't care if it's the fucking tooth fair, I'm gonna get him. Detective. This was left at the front desk. Kid said, give it to whoever's looking for the hitman. Assign three teams for you. Good. We get the girl, make sure she's secure, then we take them all out and get our money back. Ransom is not in the agency budget this year. <laughs> May I ask where we're going, sir? Ah. Oh. Hope, South Dakota. <laughs> to watch the myth die. Next matter of order, Dexter Industries versus Kevin Zimmerman. Trespass. Where's the prisoner, Sheriff? <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, the uh, prisoner had a uh, unfortunate accident in his cell this morning, and uh, he's on his way to the infirmary. Mm, I see. You think he'll pull through? <laughs> Not looking good. I, he fell pretty hard. <coughs> Case dismissed. Well, I think I'm gonna mosey on down to the jail and check on the jailbirds. All right, Your Honor. Where were we? People versus Timothy Hawk, charged with breaking an. Hello there, how you doing?
Hey, who did that? Is he... I just, uh... Yeah, it's all ready! God, what I wouldn't do for a cigarette right about now. Ah, relax. Just tell the truth and you'll be fine. Yeah, that's not what my lawyer's been telling me. Can't come in here, sir. Why? Why? What do you, uh, what, what do you got in there? Huh? A UFO crash landed or something? Is it, uh, no, wait, is it, uh, is it a secret government lab? Uh, no, don't, 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 don't tell me. Uh, a nightmarish torture cellar where you pit prisoners against each other in a grisly death match? Come on, you can tell me. What is it? Now don't go doing anything silly. Back off. All right, all right. Jeez, I'm only asking. Yeah. Thank you kindly, sir. Welcome to Hope. Hey, see, that's the kind of citizen we need here in Hope. So this bald guy walks into a bar, right? Hold on now, is this a joke? No, no, listen, my brother-in-law was there. Oh, yeah, You're talking about the great balls of fire thing, right? Yeah, right, right. right. So, so he walks into the bar, total stranger, and he goes, any of you sorry-ass sons of bitches seen Lenny the Limp? <laughs> like throwing a match on a pile of dynamite. Shit, yeah. I heard it was a hell of a ruckus even for that shithole. I just thought it was another trucker versus biker thing, though. Am I wrong? Yeah. yeah, that's what's so weird. No one really wants to talk about it, but... The guys who've been looking into it, well, they say the bald guy kicked the living shit out of nearly everyone in the bar. One guy against that crew? No fucking way. Hey, you know, that's what the grapevine's saying. Don't hang the hangman. <laughs> Yeah, well, they do a lot of crystal meth and say stupid things now, don't they? Yeah, sure. Grapevine says a lot of things. But I'm not talking about the grapevine. I'm talking about the cops investigating. Come on, stupid. Use your brain. Only way one guy takes on a bar full of 50 bikers and truckers is with an automatic weapon. You know, from what I heard, this is just an old-fashioned barroom brawl. Come on, man, think about it. It's physically impossible for one guy to do that. I don't care if he's fucking ten feet tall.
shut up. I, I need to pee. Well, we have technical problems and an incontinent defendant, so we'll take a short break. Five minute reset. Started to get on my nerves. You know, this whole British thing. I mean, the powdered wigs and dry biscuits are bad enough. But he's got us watching cricket matches now. And he insists that I translate witness statements into British. No, no kidding. I mean, I'm changing asshole. Hear ye, hear ye. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Strickland presiding. Your Honor. Case dismissed. What the hell was that Wait, shit? I my fucking homes and two of them are Your Honor. Woo! I paid my tax dollars for this. This is an outrage. Order. Court adjourned. And then we're guilty. Guilty. Court will now take a 45 minute Are you, you ready for the inspection? Well, come on, follow me. Well, Jesus, heard you let that old tin head go. <laughs> That's gonna piss off a lot of people. If you don't mind me speaking adult back to you, Judge. up that flyer. We got an important visitor. Hey, asshole. Can't you see I'm reading my titty story adventures? It's a judge, you numbnuts. Oh, ho holy crap. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, please, uh, please inspect yourselves. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't let you into the main prison today. Oh, the prisoners are pretty rowdy inside. You know, you know what I mean. The sheriff has ordered the place locked down until the situation's under control. It's for everyone's safety, Your Honor. Ah, you utterless cow pie. Yeah, and, and don't mind me. If you need anything, just ask. You should have given me a heads up, asshole.
trying to write you this letter for 14 years. Today is my last chance. This afternoon, I will pay for my mistakes with my life. It's only fair. As you know, if you've read the papers, my life is a mercenary and all the pain I've caused. Most of it is true. I should regret it all. I should be scared of dying. But I'm not. I can't anymore. The only feeling I have left is regret. Regret that I'll never get to know you. You're all that matters. Sorry, I've never understood it. Your father, Kane. Relax, all right. I'll check it out. Now, nah, don't be too rough on him now, boys. Hey, dumbass. Sheriff Skirky says, ha! Hey, you can't do that! I know my right! Now you know my left! Okay, okay, easy there. I think he got the message. Just following orders. Okay, fine. Hey, it's your mess. blood on my fucking floor. Fuck you! Fuck you! Sir, so, 
What's your verdict? Visionary or crackpot? What? Tinfoil hat guy? Shit, I don't know. I mean, he broke the law and all, but some of the stuff he says, his uh, theories, I gotta admit, they, they strike a chord. Stranger things have happened, my friend, you know? Hmm. Stranger than the UN using garden gnomes to control our minds? Name one. Well, there's the fact that, uh, Exactly the same. Just think of the disc as a cassette. Just put it in and you know, by pressing the button that says open. Okay. Remember when I was your age? God. I didn't know. Yeah. There you go. Ho, ho, ho. Down for the count. How about a little extra just to make sure your cook feel good? Hey, yeah, Dexter. Yeah, hey, no problemo. Yeah, just some bald fuck. Told you I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping like a baby. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> morning, Mr. Dexter. Morning to you. Well, well, well. Where's my boy? Where is my boy, you son of a bitch? <laughs> This is what revs her up. Look at her now. Weak as a little kitten. Huh? Ow! Mr. Dexter, fuck off! Fuck! What the fuck kind of place you running here, Clive? Hell, that ain't mine. Jesus Christ, you... That's Mrs. Cooper. Sick fuck! You killed my boy, didn't you? Look, man, just tell him what he wants to know. Accidents happen in this jail all the time. Hey, Mr. Dexter, come on. You go on about your business. I'll take care of this guy. Let's go. I want my boy back, Clive. I ain't let you down yet, have I? Go on. Yeah, it's gonna be you and me now.
God damn it. It's typical. Just typical. I'm on it. Sarge, you look, you look very happy. Probably had a session, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Drunk driving. Fire. Yeah. Merle. We took away your license months ago. You know better than that. Okay. Yeah. Him Let him sleep it off. It is a miscarriage of justice. I demand to talk to Sheriff Skirky. Ah. Skirky? You are drunk, ain't you? Yeah. Sorry, Merle. Yeah. The sheriff just threw one of his tantrums. Trust me, you do not want to bother him. Just get yourself some shut eye, you hear? Chloe will fetch you that. Yeah, nice quiet day. I don't normally complain, but it's every 30 minutes or so. It kept me up all night, and it's right before fair day, too. I'm trying to win a goldfish. Those are Dexter Industry trucks. My hands are tied. Oh, bullshit. I want to file a formal complaint. Why do they have to drive down me? They can take another road. Sorry, Dustin, but you gotta take it up with City Hall. They're the ones greenlighting the convoys. I wouldn't hold my breath, though. You know Dexter Industries employs half a hope, so they get a lot of leeway. I think we got equipment falling apart. This is unacceptable. When did you say the techs are coming? Not a pledge book!
Please, sir, behave in an orderly fashion. Sir, will do. Hello? No one there. Where are you? Where are you? This whole place could go up in flames. We better find the target quick. Someone must have notified the state authorities by now. At least the target won't be able to get through this way. Come on, let's move out. We need to sweep the parking lots. Our window of opportunity is closing fast.
checkpoint, setting up shop at 45 degrees southwest. Over. Roger that, Rabbit. Get in position. We'll flush out the target. Over. Stop that! Stand up! This doesn't make any sense. Ghost, why do you think he's... The guy's a ghost. Church. Last time, where's Victoria? Oh, go fuck yourself! Blackwater Park! Blackwater Park!
47. Tom, I need a new suit. Oh, Mr. 47. What a pleasure. Oh. Yes, yes, I can tell you need a new suit. Now, please follow me. Come this way, come this way, come on. Come to my dressing room. Please, step inside, 47. It's quite an improvement over your old suit. Look, handcrafted wool, reinforced seams, invisible stitching, and, of course, silk linings. I'll just wait up here. It's like a glove. <laughs> Would there be anything else? Dickhead, where's the girl? <laughs> oh, Layla. See? Girls in one piece. You want to keep her that way? I want to see 10 million right now, like we agreed. Well, now about the money. I don't have that kind of signing authority. You what? You don't have what? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no, no, no. See, that's not how this works, partner. Because you better find someone who's got the authority right now, or the deal's over. You got the three. Well, let me talk to my superior. Three. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Fucking asshole, what the fuck are you doing? God oh, damn it. Did that upset you? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the fun's over, Honcho. Ten million right now. And you fuck with me, it'll be ten million more. Throw in the split tail. Okay, asshole. You made your point. You're a nice piece of ass, honey. What are you doing with Limp Dick? Pig. You have no idea. Hey, fuck off! Where's the girl? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you a call in a little while. I'll let you know where you can find Victoria. Come on, darling. Money makes me worry. You gave that psychopath our money just like that? Yeah, well, he's not as dumb as he looks. Nobody outruns the agency.
Ah, uh, yeah, just let a plumber through. The papers were in order. Out it's there. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's pretty nuts in here, too. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Jesus, see that? They're getting ready for a lockdown yeah. downstairs. I heard about some place lockdown. where they have this uh, street party. And what if we need something? Well, tough shit, I guess. I, mean, I, I fucking don't know. Why don't you ask him? Hey, at least you're not out in the rain. Oh, you seen those monkey robots upstairs? Carrying enough weapons to start World War III? Now, you ask me if I'd rather be outside in the rain? Um, hell yes. Dispatch, someone's making noises here. Dispatch, just checking out some uh, strange sound. Yeah, yeah, I know, but better safe than sorry, right?
away from the TV or uh, I've seen him before. I... Mr. Dexter, he shot out the camera in the elevator. Coming our way. Yes, sir, Ray! You know, they say wealth can be a great burden, but I'm willing to take it on, I'll tell you. Holy shit! Yes! That's a lot of fucking do Ray, me right there, and that's <laughs> ours! That's mine! Here, buy yourself some lipstick. God damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah. What? Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? What does it take to kill this son of a bitch? I want him dead right now. You kill him right now, you hear me? You think you can do that? No, of course you can't do that, because you're a bunch of fucking pussies. I have to do fucking everything around here. Easy, Jesus baby. fucking Christ. It's okay, baby. No, it's not okay. That bald fuck is coming to kick my ass. Jesus, no, fuck. Layla's got what it takes to stop any man. You know, I think you might have something there. I'm counting on you. Come on, Angel. Let's go. I'm counting on you. I got this. Sushi. Miss Stockton did. Jesus, pick up the sushi and see Miss Stockton gets it. And don't touch anything in there. It's me. Just wasted a sushi guy. No one else was in there. That's all, okay? Don't want to screw up.
underestimated him. Don't make the same damn mistake. Lack in experience, I make Did up you hear about the latest technician to deflate your ego. Quest for you. off with this guy. I'll let you in on a secret about Paul. What about Paul? The job is starting to get them. Once it starts, because they, the they underestimated him. Don't make the same damn mistake.
bitch about the situation. You know what? They took down a sushi guy earlier by mistake. You kidding me? Yeah. Frazier apparently forgot to tell Jeff about the delivery. Oh, so I'm thinking. Frazier no. is. They're shooting every two foods, right? This guy doesn't stand a chance. You're probably right. Did you hear about the latest addition to our team? No, no offense, but I'm not in the mood for small talk. I'll bring you back. <laughs> Why are you so tense? Too much caffeine? Spoke of I want to go home. you could get away. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> All except for me. I'm I just want to say if Roy's right.
people! You heard the man! The clock is ticking! Where the hell are the rest of those charges? Back there! Good luck finding anything! Got trouble. This is crazy. Blowing up your own building to stop one guy? Ambulance arriving in 10. The boss is starting to slip. Can you blame him? Something's off with this guy. Attention, Alpha Unit. Proximity mines are rigged throughout sectors A and C. Watch your steps. We don't want a chain reaction on our hands. Over. Layla, we, um, we just found her. Ah, what are you waiting for? Put her on. No, sir. She's gone. Layla is gone. There was, there was nothing we could do. Over. My boy. Layla. <laughs> Your friend just lost the The way I see it, there's only one way to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> You catch my drift, asshole! You get up here like a man, or I swear to God, I'll put one right between her and- Dear 47, if you read this letter, I am most likely dead. You will have shot me for a traitor, and Travis will have won. Do not let him have the girl as well. Travis's division was conducting genetic experiments without the agency's knowledge, and Victoria was their crowning achievement. Give her the choice you never had. Protect Victoria. And kill Benjamin Travis.
Fredrickson tells me you were on the assault team in Hope. Guess that place got leveled pretty good, huh? Oh, it was, a, it was a mess. Totally out of control. Yeah, well, you guys covered your tracks, right? The Feds are treating it as a terrorist attack. Some kind of homegrown right-wing anarchist group. Yeah, still. Exposing ourselves like that on U.S. soil? You ask me, Travis is a loose cannon. It's only a matter of time before management shuts him down. They hear you pulled these kind of resources to close down a cemetery. They're gonna start demanding answers. The real reason Burnwood went rogue, your little science project, everything could get exposed. I'm not going down because you're obsessed with a dead woman. Management will believe what I tell them to believe. You wanted to play in the big leagues. Well, this is your chance. Get it done or start writing up your own epitaph. Why is that coffin not above ground yet? The crane malfunctioned. I have a technician working as fast as he can. Do you realize how many strings I had to pull to lock this place down in the middle of the day? Then maybe you should have come by night, eh? Don't push me, Doctor. You're good, but you're not irreplaceable. What have you gathered so far? The tomb has definitely been opened recently. Someone is buried in here. The question, of course, is who? Keep me notified and speed it up.
thought Travis put you on as personal guard. <laughs> well, Mr. Paranoid hired some freelance tougher than nails SAS and Mossad types to take over protection duty. They call themselves the Praetorians after the Roman Emperor's personal guard. Best in the world, apparently. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of relieved. 47 is really on the move. Travis is just a walking, breathing bullseye. was that? Man, got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over. Possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. that the acoustics are bad in here. Got some strange noises here. Looking into it. Over.
Diana. Do what you have to do. Excellent work, 47. The money has been wired to your account. Welcome back. And thank you.